Hi, this video is on how to use the Level Up module in Moodle, uh, specifically on how to really customize it and make it specific for your course. So the Level Up module allows you to uh, let students earn experience points and level up and get, get um, different levels of proficiency in your class. So the rewards are based on Moodle integration and there's some default rules that I'm going to show you but the big thing is how to make it really defined for you and your course. Um, so I'm going to show you how to define the names and add pictures and how to change the default rules. So the first thing really is the fact that the defaults are kind of bland and don't show do anything but have a star and a number whereas you can make it be all kinds of pictures in this case this is the level in my one class they're all monks and they get different levels of being a monk as they uh, raise up in my hardware class you can do it however you want to whatever kind of levels that you want to use so when you go to the level system so I'm gonna show you this real fast so um, in this example course the level up uh, module I've already added and if you don't know how to add that then basically you just go to turn on editing you go down to the block and you add level up which is already added which is why it isn't on the list so once the level up um, block is added you go to settings to do all the other things that I'm gonna show you here and I've got some screen captures specifically of those settings so the first one I would do is check out the levels the default level starts at um, 120 points and then goes up at a logarithmic equation coefficient of 1.3. You can see the numbers of look at, you look at your screen. Uh, you can change what the start level is so that it's harder to get to level 2. Uh, and then you can change what the difference is as it goes up each level by raising or lowering this coefficient. And whenever you do that, you just hit update and preview. And then if you like it, the save button is at the bottom of the screen. Likewise, you can add names to all the levels. I'm uh, uh, starting out making this an animal course here, so I added names like Bobcat, I stole from the Cub Scouts, Bobcat, Tiger, Wolf, Bear, and then started adding other names in there. So it will have that name next to their level. It'll say, congratulations, you're level two, and are now Bobcat, or whatever. Uh, you can also add images to those levels. So once I've done the levels, I can go over to visuals and change the pictures. And basically all you do is name them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many levels you have, and you just draw, drag and drop them into the box. So if I go to visuals, you can see the ones I've already got are there. If I've got another picture that I want to add for level eight, and I'm calling level eight elephant. So all I did was Google elephant, go to images, and I pick the image that I want to represent this level. Um, for instance, if I want to use this one, or I want to use something um, a little, uh, I don't know. Here, let's use this level, this one right here. I just right click and say save image as, and I make it the number that I want it to be. So I'm saying number eight, and now, over here I just drag the picture right onto there and now that's the level 8 image and when I'm done I just hit save changes it'll tell me if there's any kind of an error so now I have pictures for those first eight levels there pretty easy to do uh, and then the last thing is to set your settings these are the settings that I use I do allow them to see the ladder and how they're doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the page here on settings because it's easier. So this allows them to gain experience points. Uh, this uh, tells them information about the experience points. This gives them a notification that they went up a level. Um, can they see the ladder, ladder and do they get to see everyone? You can say no or yes on the identity. You can say that everyone, they can see everyone else or they can only see the person on either side of them on the ladder, up to five people, or I just leave it set at everyone. And then do they display the rank, do they hide the rank, or do they display the relative rank compared to everyone else? The most important part to me is this cheat card here. And this, the default is terrible. Um, 
And so I've already changed this. So the default is to allow 10 actions every minute, which is basically would mean they just click away and try to gain experience points, and it's crazy. So I don't do that. Um, I've got three actions, and this is in seconds. So three actions every 10 minutes, 600 seconds, or they can repeat this same thing every six hours, which is uh, what that number is. Basically, I, I just used the calculator and said, okay, if, uh, for instance, if I wanted to be every 12 hours, I just 12 times 60 times 60, and it'd be 43,200. You got the idea there. Uh, and then the log by default is on three days. I don't look at it that often, so I set it up to a month, and then I hit save changes. Um, so really the things that I changed in my course, the settings, the visuals, and the levels are the things that I change in my course. Um, and again, you might want to make more or less levels, and you might want to make them harder to attain. If, for instance, you're like, ah, they're going to get to monkey really soon, so... I want to make it 1.4 on the coefficient, which will change monkey from 38.46 to 58.95. Much harder to get to monkey, and i got to spell it right so when they get there, they don't think I'm crazy. Uh, but again, to finish it, you have to save changes at the end, and now you can see the, li the uh, levels that they go up in this particular class. The other thing that you can look at at any time, and I use this for uh, punishment and reward too. So uh, this class has never used it. I just add this for the video. But I've got students um, in the class. And let's say I've got this student that's done something great, and I want to reward them. I can go ahead and click there, and I can change their experience points. I can go ahead and say this person's at 300 experience points. I hit Save Changes. I just bump them straight to level three. Likewise, if they've done something inappropriate in my class and I don't want to, you know, I don't believe in, in changing grades for behavior, but this isn't a grade and I have no problem with saying, oh, you just got knocked back a level because of what you did uh, yesterday and I hit save change and it just knocked that person back to level two. So I can edit their experience points at any time I want to to as a reward or a punishment either way to move them um, up or down levels in the class while they're doing it so it's kind of an interesting way uh, to do that also if I want to always have a sheet up here that shows the maximum level I could do that I could arrange it by experience points like so, and then I could use this and, and just take a, a picture of that and have it maybe at the starting of the class for the top seven students in the class, the top ten students in the class, if I wanted to put up a board that showed um, the level achievement in any particular class. You could do it obviously by group, or you could do all participants in every class to show, eh, these are the best kid and, and these particular classes as well. So you can use it as a uh, reward and or punishment thing in a class as well and like I said before the pictures number one you can't change but as soon as they start going up levels they will see the new pictures of uh, the new levels right there on the course just like we saw on the one here right there uh, showing the level that somebody's at in this particular hardware class so that's it that's really a, a short one on the level up uh, module in Moodle. I was frankly amazed at the participa participation, pers pers participation and engagement that happened when they were started trying to beat each other out of levels. So if we look at the log in my class you can see the student how many points they got and what they did when you look at the log. Uh, and you can see what thing they were looking at as they went through. And again, uh, it's important that you change those settings uh, so that they don't redo uh, the same thing over and over again. And to go over the default rules one last time. The default rules are pretty good. Uh, basically, uh, it what it says is that um, 45 experience points are earned whenever you create, that's what the C stands for, a assignment, a test, um, anything that they submit. An R means if they reviewed it or um, 
looked at it, followed a link. A U means they updated something that they originally created, and a D means they deleted, so there's no points for that. Any other rules you put in um, override these basic rules. So, for instance, if I say five experience points are in, earned when any of the conditions are met, a quiz is submitted, textbook is submitted, any of these things happen, it overrides that 45 point rule. Okay, so they're only going to get five experience points when they do those things, but they're going to get 60 experience points when they do these things because I wanted to make sure they got credit for doing the tech introduction and reading the Ten Commandments and doing the intro and doing the syllabus. So I can give them more points for some things, less points for some things, and then the default points go for everything else. And you can play with those rules. Basically, they got 60 points if they did all of these things. Uh, in this case, they got five points if they do any of these things. So I can make things worth, worth less by going through those rules there, and you can play with those rules. But uh, the reason I did this was to give them a big bonus so they, if they did all those things, they immediately got to um, the first level, basically, uh, in the cast class. So that's it for the Level Up module in Moodle.